Hey YouTube, this is Dave and today we're going to upgrade our 2012 uh, MacBook Pro. What it has in here is a one terabyte HDD drive uh, and it has only eight gigabytes of RAM. The new MacBook Pro, the 2013, has 16 gigabytes of RAM and it also has one terabyte of SSD storage. So what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this with our Samsung uh, 840 Evo uh, SSD drive. It's a single drive. Let me show you what it looks like. In the box it comes with all these CDs and paperwork but basically we just want this drive here. It's a 7 millimeter drive, 2.5 and it'll fit right here inside the MacBook Pro. We'll just replace it with the T6 screws um, and we can fit it right into the hard drive. It's going to go right about here. Then we also have our Corsair Vengeance um, RAM, and this is two eight gigs, two eight gigabyte uh, sticks of RAM, and that is also going to fit right inside. And now we'll have two MacBook Pros, one from 13, one from 12, and they're both going to have pretty much the same specs. Both of these laptops are the high-end versions uh, for the year, and uh, we're going to do some comparisons afterwards, and we're going to see if it's worth buying the 2013 for an extra about $1,000 than what it was for the year before with the same specs. Of course, upgraded. So let's get started. Let me put these 2013 to the side, and what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over, for this, you're going to need two screwdrivers. The first one being the Phillips double zero drive, and the next one is the T6 bit, and we'll be able to do all this with just that. Make sure you have a copy of Mavericks on your USB stick, or you can use cloning software to transfer your old hard drive over to the new. So after we remove all these screws, you can lift the cover right off. It kind of pops off. And we'll put that to the side. And here we have the hard drive, the CD-ROM drive, the Wi-Fi antenna, two fans, the board, the RAM, the battery, and there you have it. Okay? So first thing you want to do is stay with the Phillips screwdriver. Let's turn this around. And don't forget to re remove the battery and we're going to remove this bracket right here. You don't have to remove the screws all the way. They're pressure fitted, so you just have to loosen them up so that it pops out. And that pops out right there. You just lift, be careful, there's a SATA 3 connector. So we'll just loosen that up carefully. And we take the drive out. We want to peel this sticker off. And we'll place that right to the side. Now we can line up and we're going to put this sticker right on the edge here. And what we have to do is we have to switch over to T6 and we've got to remove these four screws. And there's that. Now let's replace these screws. Basically, this just slips in like this. Just 
just make sure it's snug. Be careful. Place it into the holes and down it goes. Now for the ram, all you do is pull these two to the side and the ram will pop out. Do the same for the lower. Pry it out. And there it is. For this part, there's a small end and a large end. Seat it in. Pop it in. Same thing here. There it is. That snaps in place. And there you have it. Looks nice. Don't forget to connect the battery. snaps. There you have it. Let's put the cover back on. The three longer screws go in the back. There you have it. What you're going to see when you first turn it on. Is you're going to see the folder with the question mark. But we're going to turn it, power it off. You'll see the Apple logo. There you have the installation screen. This is a fresh install. You have to pick the drive, the Samsung drive, and, and then you have to title it whatever you like to title it, Mac o uh, OS Extended Journal, and you have to go down to Options and click GUID Partition Tables. Hit OK, and then you hit Apply. And once you do that, then you exit out of Disk Utilities, and then you'll be able to see your Samson, whatever you named it, show up on the screen and then you just step through the steps and it works just fine. After you replace your standard drive with an SSD storage you can buy yourself an enclosure and this enclosure will hook up externally to your MacBook Pro for extra storage. Okay now we brought our 2012 MacBook Pro up to par with the 2013 specs. We put a one terabyte SSD storage and we also updated the RAM to 16 gigabytes. Now we can do an apples to apples comparison, no pun intended, of course, of these two wonderful top of the line machines for their year. And I hope you check it out. Make sure you subscribe, give it a like button. I spent a, a lot of time making these videos and I hope you enjoyed them. They're all for you guys. And I will see you on my next video. Thank you.